All right, so in this video, we're going to show that if event A is a subset of event B, then B complement is going to be a subset of A complement. All right, I'm going to show this using Venn diagrams. So if A is a subset of B, how would we draw that? Okay, so I would need to draw a big B. So this is B, event B, and then event A has to be entirely inside of B because A is a subset. So it means it's part of or it's contained within B. All right. So then, so this is the sample space. Okay, so this is, this is what A is a subset of B looks like in our sample space. All right, so then let's, let's talk about what B complement looks like. So I'm going to draw the same thing. Okay, so this is my sample space. And B is still here, and A is still here. Now where is B complement? B complement, I'm going to draw using blue. So B complement would be everywhere in the sample space that's not in B, right? By definition of complement, this is where B complement is. So this is B complement. All right, then where is A complement? A complement would be everywhere in the sample space that's not in A. So this is A complement. All right, A complement. So you can see here that B complement is contained in A complement, right? So we have this relationship that B complement is contained in A complement because the purple, right, contains the blue. The blue is contained within the purple.